No. No. <laughs> right, so the other day on Facebook, I posted about Flo's harness and she's vanished. Which she's pulling and it gives me a feeling like I've got a stitch and a pain in my side. And yeah, it's really hard work. She lunges and nearly rips my arm out of a socket. So I posted on Facebook, some people give me advice. I look the harnesses up, they recommended. And I watched something together myself because I need a quick solution. So this video is a few clips that I've put together over the last few days of what I've been doing to try and sort the harness out. Okay, let's do it. It's got a hook on the front of it under the chest. So what I've done, I put a lead going underneath her and as you can see here, it's got a bungee on and it's attached to this lead and it seems to have sorted her out. We've only been walking five minutes, but um, she's dragging a bit, but nothing that exhausts me. To the left, go to the left, good girl. Normally she's exhausted herself because she pulls that hard. It's a view of the church. Right, anyway, thanks for our, um, I think it was Ray and Christine commenting on my video and giving me advice. I look them on, this is up, what you'd advise, you recommended, and I needed a quick solution, so I've sorted this for now. But she's dragging here because it's downhill. But it took a major pull off it, so it seems to have worked a bit. Normally by around here she's exhausted, so let's have a look at her face. Flo. Flo. Typical won't look at me. Flo, darling. What's this? Ah, good girl. Good girl, aren't ya? Hey, right, come on. Normally when she sets off, she drags really hard, it near enough rips your arm out of the socket. Right, so this is just a short video on what I've done today with the dog harness. Hi, so this morning I'm trying different techniques with the harness and the lead. So as you can see, I've got this purple lead, what's in my hand, and if you'll stay still, and stop running in circles around me. I've got a lead hanging off it. I've made that with a bungee lead. And as you can see, if I walk, it's on my canny cross belt. So I've got the lead like that, taking the strain off the pull and control with this hand. You can see there, some tension on it. Like I said, I've got this red lead, cut it up, tied a bungee on it glued it, wrapped UPVC tape round it as you can see there and it's working well. Now Flo's still pulling really hard but I'm not feeling the effects of it on my arms. Good girl, have a rest. I keep stopping letting her get a breather but we're only going for a short walk. Right, come on. And you see she sets off, she's not tearing my arm out of my socket. So this is a can of cross belt that I used to use with Orion. Show the church. So the purple lead I've got control over her, well a bit anyway. Come on. What have you done? Wait, good girl, wait, okay. Oh, she's getting all tied up. We'll do this properly. Right, okay. 
come on up there. So there's no strain on my arm at all. Purple lead just controls it, like I said. So that's one solution. She's still pulling hard. It's exhaust, so. So I'm just doing this while we walk around the graveyard and then she's back on my purple lead. Just me holding it by hand. Just show the view, let her have a rest. So little Flo is one this month. Aren't you darling? Eh? She's a good girl. Right, come on. No, you don't. Right. Okay. Thanks for watching. Might be an update tomorrow, but this is working quite well. Next time we're going along the walk, I'll take some water and I'm going to go through hot wood, I think, with my GoPro.